Hello everybody. Mr. Bowler Hat here. Making a video about the Battleship game that I made in the Xbox 360 version of Minecraft. Just a quick overview of the size, which is massive. And these are the game boards, as you can see. And this is what the control room looks like. The side is to attack your opponent. The side is to set your board. And up here is resetting your board in case you've made a mistake. So, starting here quickly are the rules, or the size of the ships at least. Uh, in this chest is markers for recording your moves up here. So black is hit and white is miss. And above that is light indicators for anyone without a mic. So give it a quick demo on how it works. We'll just set a couple. So we'll go C6 and G3. Alright, so I'll demonstrate the reset line just quickly. So, C6, and that'll reset this one here. And I'll quickly demonstrate the attack function. So, if I go over to this one, and G3. And there you go, that's how it works. And down here quickly is just a small mock up. Get rid of that. Small mock up of the unit that is used to run it. It basically collectively works off of about 280 RS NOR latches, because each grid is obviously 10 by 10, so 100 square. And this is how it works. So we've got one already on. So let's turn the one on behind it or next to it. So you just push the two corresponding buttons for that line. There you go. This is here from a previous tutorial I was trying to make. So let's just disregard this for the moment. And if you were to reset them, you just push up here and here yeah. and that one's been reset so over here I have a quick mock-up of the unit used this is just to show that this is how you extend it off into the next unit basically and Obviously, this one isn't set up with buttons, it's just set up with switches. So, this is the whole unit on this side. Redstone, torch, repeater, redstone, torch. Redstone coming through there, torch here to keep this line active when this goes off. And same here. So basically, it's just repeating this step constantly. You just repeat this over and over and you will have a grid system. So let's just quickly demonstrate. Hang on, reset this one up here. I haven't built the reset system into this one because I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible without wasting time. So we'll just turn this one on and that's how that works. Reset this one up here and it will work the same with this one. So you switch that there, switch that there, and that one's on too. So just give you a quick rundown on how the reset with the buttons works. These also use RS NORs. So you've got this setup like this, 
you need this here to reset the RS nulls. Once both buttons have been pushed, it'll come down these lines, turn off these torches here, turn that torch off, and run through the reset lines for the RS null latch. So as you can see, if I push a button here, that'll be on, and this torch will be off. And when I push this button here, there you go. That was the system resetting itself, and the torch up there is on. So that's pretty much the lowdown. I'll try and get enough of a screenshot to show how it works. To build in a reset line, you basically just have to build the same module above it, next to the RS North, with a torch under here coming off of this redstone dot here and it runs the opposite way so if these are going that way down here these ones up here will have to go this way along here pretty much and they run on the exact same principle of pushing two buttons and they'll reset it and yeah this is all set up the exact same way basically so and this is infinitely expandable. You can make it any size, obviously. The smallest one I've made is 32 um, torches. And obviously the largest being 100. So I don't doubt that you could make it a lot larger than that if you needed to, but I don't see why you'd need it to. And obviously if you have a small enough Designed for a T flip flop, you could probably replace these RSs up here with a T flip flop, and you could knock off about 20 or so control buttons because up here each unit uses 60 control buttons. But with a T flip flop, you just need to have the set lines and no reset lines because the buttons will obviously work for the same thing. But I just like the safety of an RS null latch, so there's no accidentally activating or deactivating something. And the smallest T flip flop I've come up with myself without sort of looking up anything is this design here. So it's sort of not really fitting enough to go at the top of the grid. <coughs> just like that pretty small, pretty compact. You can make it a little bit smaller by putting the redstone underground and putting a block over the top. But yeah, basic rundown of how the battleship game works. Very quick little demo. Um, it's sort of annoying for me to try and get videos up because I have to use a, a camera. I can't just record it straight off of a PC or anything because it's on Xbox obviously and my laptop recording is pretty ugly, so sorry for the poor quality, and if anyone has any more questions or anything, I will be happy to answer them, and yeah, that's pretty much about it that I can think of, I'll try and get a decent shot of this, so people can look. Just to see where everything's placed. You can obviously replay the video and pause it at certain spaces to see in better detail, but I'm not going to go into a massive tutorial on how to build this at the moment because my camera doesn't seem to like recording for too long. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and. Enjoy.